welcome. Uh, I'm here at uh, the uh, Stockholm Beer and Whiskey Festival with Tommy Andersson. Hi guys. And it's the, the launch of his uh, Hope and Glory that I will be reviewing right now. It will be a very unbiased review. So, uh, do you want to stick around for this one, Connie? No. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so actually, first of all, this beer has been made in collaboration with Ven Gange Brewery, a uh, brewery that started up one year ago in Sweden, and they made the Hope and Glory IPA, which actually has Perik tobacco in it. And Perik uh, is a pipe tobacco that's now used in Hope and Glory. So we got the beer, we got the snooze, and briefly I'll tell you about the beer. Surprisingly great, really, really fresh. You do get a mellowness, like the, there's a contribution from the tobacco, but mainly it's about the uh, the really bright um, uh, grapefruit in this one, and it's got a really nice bitterness at the end. So it's a good IBU, very good IPA. Uh, I'll put that down there, and this is this is what the beer looks like. Great beer, great collaboration with uh, Van Gogh Brewery. So today we're looking at uh, IPA, Hope and Glory original, and it's made by Argus News, uh, blended by Kolmi Andersson. Uh, and IPA, Hope and Glory white. And uh, later on, I think we will get uh, loose as well. So the um, about the, the, the statistics of these, uh, you get 0.9 gram portions in them. There's 22 portions and the nicotine level is uh, at 10 milligrams per portion, so a little bit more per gram, which means it's a little bit elevated to a normal um, strength snooze, but not extremely strong. And uh, this time around, it's not part of the crafted series. This time around, it's actually sort of price-wise, we're looking around the X range, uh, uh, which you know means it's a really competitive uh, snooze, not one of the more expensive ones like he normally makes. And the way he can do that is by sort of lowering the amount of uh, uh, portions in it. So you got 22 portions instead of 24. But you, you, it shouldn't be any any less quality. He's not com compromising on the quality. He tells me. So let's get into these. Made by Argus News. Um, the catch lid is a large one, both on the white and on the original. You get the AG Argus News logo in there. I'll open both of them for you at the same time. I can smell it already. And, as always, I really, really like uh, our Gears News portions. They are some of the more beautiful portions on the market, I think. So you see a really clean looking, soft to the touch uh, white portion and a pretty moist um, original portion. It's not as moist, I would say, here as uh, the, uh, the Crofted Snooze Whiskey, uh, which is also by Colin Andersson, but it's got a good moisture to it. Let's go for the smell. So this one does have Perik tobacco in it, which is pretty amazing. It's a pipe tobacco from Louisiana, uh, made by two farmers there. It's quite unique. It's interesting because you get you get a citrus quality to it, but it's not straight lemon. There is a sweetness in the background, and uh, I've just smelled like um, an extract of the um, of the perique that they used in the beer, and you do get that sort of interesting. Uh, mellowness from the tobacco surprisingly mellow you don't think it's going to be that mellow maybe but it it it, it, it makes it kind of sweeter uh, let's see what the uh, original will bring as expected you get a little bit more from the original and uh, once again you get that citrus but there is a sweetness and uh, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what um, the sweetness is, but it, I think it is from the Perique tobacco. So what I will do, 
we're here and look look at the background the background is um, amazing here um, so they collaborate with Ven Garth for the uh, for the beer but they also uh, collaborate with uh, rusty remakes for uh, for the uh, for the lamps you can get some really cool stuff there's a cool lamp uh, over there with uh, the the lid of the white portion here so um, I'm here at the, the festival right now. In the second part of the review, you'll see me back at home because I need to get these flavors to mature so I can really tell you what I think about these two. Whoa, snoozers. <laughs> okay, so see you in the second part of the review, guys. Wow, where to start with these? First of all, I really like the artwork on both of these. Some of the best on the market, I would say. And uh, Connie has written on the side here, Interesse Klubben Notera, Interest Club Note. Uh, med inspiration från craft beer scenen har jag kryddat detta hantverksnus med klassiska kraftfulla amerikanska humlesorter. With inspiration from the craft beer scene, I've spiced this snus handicraft with classic, powerful American hop varieties. Uh, I think both of these, uh, they're basically the same snus, but... Uh, with different moisture levels. Uh, the white one is quite dry. Uh, I would like to see it a little bit more moist maybe, but uh, you can create your own moisture to release the complexities of the tobaccos. And uh, it's initially really hard to pinpoint the flavors and aromas in these ones, because I think they might be the most complex snoozes on the market actually. Uh, the complexities uh, of the white one still come through but I think uh, it's a little bit more um, bright, maybe, and uh, in, in the initial aroma. It takes a while to release that mellow sweetness that you additionally get in the original portion, being more moist. So what do I get from these then? From both, I would say I get like a tropical fruitiness, just like in IPAs. Uh, I get passion fruit, pineapple, citrus, uh, maybe even mango and pear. Uh, there's of course a hoppiness. Uh, those fruits I just mentioned can come through from the hops. And Connie has used uh, Centennial, Mosaic, Simcoe uh, hops and another wild hop as well. Uh, there's a sort of a resiny bitter pine that uh, definitely comes through to the taste. And um, I also get like a perfumey floral note uh, and it's uh, quite herbal as well. It's brilliantly mysterious and unique. Uh, the original portion, being a bit more moist, instantly releases uh, more sweetness and spiciness that you get from the Perique tobacco. Uh, it uh, brings a mellowness that uh, you don't get in the you didn't get in the Melgren snooze, which was Connie's previous IPA snooze. Uh, and although this is a little bit sweeter, it never gets cloying. Uh, the Melgrens also tended to go a little bit soapy. I think that came from the Cascade hops. No Cascade hops used in this one, uh, which means you don't get that soapiness. So I think it's a better sort of long-term use snooze than Melgrens. Uh, they're, they're winners in the, in the long run. They're very fresh still with a cutting bitterness. So they are like a American West Coast style IPA. So they're true to, to the name IPA here. Uh, you get that pininess, uh, but brilliantly uh, backboned by the mellow tobacco uh, and with the sweetness. Uh, you also get that pine creating that sort of resiny feel to it. Uh, it says it has malt extract in it, but I don't think uh, the maltiness comes through like it does in Ettan portion, for instance. So it is once again, like the West Coast style IPA, where there's not an awful lot of malt going on. It's, it's mainly about the hops. But for the snooze, I'm very happy that the Perique tobacco is helping it up to make it a little bit more robust. So they're, they're very well balanced. Uh, from the Perique uh, extract that I smelt last weekend, I got like a um, toffee and port character to them. And I don't get that so much here in the snooze portions, uh, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, the loose version will bring in the future if it's uh, more robust on the Perique than these ones. So these are fragrant fresh snoozes uh, with a good backbone. Really fresh, really well balanced, 
great hoppiness. You do get hops in this one. It was more like a lemon curd in the Melgrins. Uh, but mellow at the same time, you can use it more long term. It has a darkness from the tobacco. It's quite bitter. Uh, it kind of cuts through a little bit, never cloying. So great snooze. And uh, I prefer the original portion to the white, I would say personally, but uh, both are really good. I actually think that Connie's uh, managed to reach a five out of five snooze here, being a mid-price range snooze. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give the original portion an eight and a half out of 10. The white one I think could be a little bit more moist maybe, but it's still great. I'll give it an eight out of 10 for this one. You can pick both of these up right now from snooze24.com and I think you should, you can't miss these snoozes. Uh, so in my review number 100, I asked for 25 likes in the first week in order to feel confident that I would continue these uh, reviews. I got 85, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I will definitely keep doing these reviews. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, so right now we are doing uh, these reviews once a week uh, at weekends. So see you next weekend for the next review. Thank you very much.